Hello everybody, it's Matt here from Nuka Media Exotics, and today I have something pretty cool for you guys to check out. So, I have a Firmingo Chilis species Saba Dwarf Tarantula here that I'm going to be rehousing and giving you a bit of information on. So, this is an enclosure that I have set up. This is actually one of the enclosures that I have available on my website. I have six or seven different sizes of these. They're nice and clear. I include everything that I actually set it up with here. It's a kit. Um, there's a fake plant in there. There's some sphagnum moss on the, in the front on the top there. And then the substrate is coconut fiber mixed with vermiculite. So the sphagnum moss and the vermiculite in the substrate helps to retain moisture. And then I actually include one of these little plastic cups that you can use as a water dish. In this instance, this guy's a little bit too small for a water dish, in my opinion. I don't introduce water dishes until they're at around the two inch leg span. Until then, you just want to keep the substrate damp, not soaked, but damp so that they can get some moisture from there. And let's go ahead and take a look at this little guy. So this sling is about a one inch leg span. And this species is very interesting because this is, uh, I don't know if it was newly discovered, but it's newly introduced to the United States at least. Um, this is the only known dwarf species of the Firmingo chilis genus which is pretty cool. These are Asian arboreal species. Usually they get pretty massive. They get six to eight inch leg spans. This one, apparently, I'm gonna show a photo on the screen there. That's pretty much the only photo that I could dig up of what it looks like it's an adult female of this species. And they apparently get around 3.5 inch leg spans. From what I can find, there's not much information on these guys online, and so I figured I would make a video and try to compile the little information that there is and give you guys a look at the little sling that I have here. Since it seems they're not very common in the United States, these are going for around 200 to $250 from what I've found. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to get this little guy into the enclosure. I, as you can see, I am doing the rehousing in a larger plastic bin just in case it runs out of the enclosure if it tries to bolt on me. That way, you know, I don't lose it. You know, I can catch it with my catch cup that I had on the side there. You always want to try to do everything as fail safe as possible. So you can see the little sling there. Pretty well starred sling. They're not tiny. Uh, I would assume that when they're little or they're probably around half an inch they probably start off around half an inch maybe even a quarter of an inch i'm not sure i haven't seen them any smaller than this this is how large they were when i received them i'm going to give you guys a little glimpse of it on the side there but yeah um so that's pretty much it like I said, there was no videos that I could find online of these guys yet, so I figured I would put one together. Um, pretty cool species, very interesting, and can't wait to see what it'll look like when it grows a bit more. Hopefully I'll make a video then. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Nuka Media Exotics, and check out my website at www.nukamediaexotics.com for an up-to-date list of all of the tarantulas that I currently have for sale. And thank you for watching this video.